We are now officially in the holiday season. Halloween's past. We're in mid-November. We're just a little bit under a week away from Thanksgiving, uh, and, uh, and it, it's approaching very quickly. And so as we get ready for the holiday season, it's important for us to be ready also to meet and greet and spend time with our family and friends, some of which, some of whom we have not seen in a very long time. Here to help us learn to do that in a way that's proper and, and healthy, but also very respectful for everybody involved, including yourself, is Stacy Amy, the etiquette guru, with us once again on the MegaCast. Stacy, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Hi, Tyler. Appreciate having you on. And so as, as we get back into the holiday season again, it's a difficult time of the year for a lot of people because uh, you're seeing a lot of people at, at one time. And sometimes it's people that you haven't seen in a long time. It's people that maybe you don't get along with all too well, even within your own group of uh, friends or extended friend groups or family groups especially. So what suggestions do you have for people going into those kinds of situations to navigate them res respectfully, but also, you know, to keep their own peace as well? The most important thing I can say is the thing about good manners and etiquette is it's all about making others feel comfortable whenever possible. So it becomes a choice. And when you step back and consider that it may change your behavior, just keeping that in mind. Um, and follow what you normally do and read people. If they are receptive to perhaps a hug, something like that, then hug it out by all means and read their signals. If they're stepping away from you, then give them that space. It's also important to, to, to recognize the space that you're going into and or that people are coming into also. So Stacey, how do you balance that? If you're hosting, I know, Friendsgiving or you're hosting a Thanksgiving or, or other a holiday gatherings with your family and you know they're coming into your space what's your suggestion for the best way to navigate you know uh, people being respectful of your space but also being respectful of those individual people so you don't have you know those spats and those back and forth battles that sometimes erupt at family gatherings of this kind people are still divided and have a variety of comfort levels i think you know that's primarily what's on the table here. So if people are coming into your space, you can be forthcoming with perhaps your um, expectations, uh, your ideas of how things should go. That's the courteous thing to do. If others aren't on the same page with you, that allows them to bow out gracefully if that's what they need to do. So I think communication is key always and uh, making your wishes known. And if people have a problem with it, then, you know, maybe next year you can all get together. It's something that comes up every year during the holiday season, especially when you're thinking about Thanksgiving and getting together with an extended family. It's some of those conversations that you know, go one way or the other that are not quite as, as you'd like them to be. You know, certainly if politics come up, that can be a very divisive issue uh, and divisive issues. So when you mentioned, like you said earlier, respectfully bowing out, how do you approach that? How do you suggest approaching that if, if a topic of conversation comes up that you really don't want to participate in because you know it's not going anywhere fruitful or anywhere uh, that's going to be meaningful other than just for meaningless uh, bickering? How do you respectfully approach bowing out of these conversations without, not, without just abandoning the gathering that you're at? There's always pleasantly just saying we can agree to disagree and bow out that way. There's no winners there. Um, if you're just trying to make a point or you feel it's that important, make your point and then leave it alone. Um, but, you know, you can expect backlash from that. But to continue on, it's unfair, especially if you're at someone else's home and they're hosting a gathering and now you're arguing with other guests. I mean, stop and think about that. And, you know, like I said in the beginning, step back. It's a choice. Do you really need to make your point? Is it that important to you that you're going to risk offending your host or hostess? I, I doubt it's worth it. We're joined by Stacey Amy on today's edition of the Megacast, the etiquette guru joining us on today's program as we're approaching the holiday season. We want to make sure you get ready for, for the season and get ready to invite people into your home, but also to go into other people's space and other people's homes as well. It's also a really busy time of the year too. Uh, outside of the home too, Stacey. So as we're approaching the holiday shopping season, we can see a lot of nastiness also happen out in the out in the shops and out on the town as people are busy, they're rushed, they're trying to get things done. A lot at the same time, they're juggling the regular busyness 
of everyday life in today's world. What are your suggestions in those spaces to uh, no, take care of what you need to take care of, but also to be respectful of everybody else's space, especially as everyone's starting to get back out now too in more, uh, in more great numbers and things are expectedly going to be a little bit more crowded. Yes, uh, just take time. Take time to be kind. Uh, it's, it's, again, your choice. And if you can see your way clear to open doors for people and step away from the nastiness, don't participate in it. And it's fun getting back out there and interacting with people, joking around with people. Make your time out in the public fun. You don't have to rush around and be blind to everyone else. I mean, they're, we're all people. So I think if people can just take that time and interact with one another, it's it's just, let's make it fun for everyone. You don't have to walk around blindly to everything, you know, and just be, you know, completely into yourself. It's, it's not the way to be. We're joined by the etiquette guru, Stacey Amy, on today's edition of the Megacast. Uh, of course, it, it's always going to be a tougher situation. And uh, actually, we're, we're having some technical issues back at our master control. So here's what we should do, just because we're we're in a little bit of a sticky situation with uh, th how things are looking technically. We're going to take a very short break, Stacey, and we're going to let our team get things situated back at master control so that... Uh, this can be as smooth and, and look as good as possible on the other side. So we'll take a quick break. We're joined by Stacey Amy, the etiquette guru. We apologize for the inconvenience. We'll take a break. We'll come back very shortly. You're watching and listening to the Megacast. Welcome back to the Megacast, our live local daily TV, radio, and streaming show looking into all things Michigan. I'm Tyler Keefe. Our apologies for the technical difficulties there. We have resolved them. We'll continue on now. We're joined by the etiquette guru, Stacey Amy, on today's edition of the Megacast. As we're approaching holiday season, want to make sure that we're being as respectful as we possibly can be for other people's space and also ensuring that we're commanding that respect ourselves, but doing it with kindness as well. You can learn more from the, from the etiquette guru and get in contact with Stacy about some of her different classes and, and other lessons that you can learn by going to her website, theetiquetteguru.com. Theetiquetteguru.com uh, is your place to go your trusted source for etiquette courses since 2009. Stacey, uh, as, as we continue on, this, even outside of the holiday season, we've talked about what we can do in the home. We've talked about what we can do out in the community too, but it's an interesting time in our world and in our society as the COVID-19 pandemic continues on, but it also sort of resembles regular life before the pandemic in a way. And so as, as we're approaching the holiday season, it's a stressful time of the year. What suggestions do you have for people out in their daily life, whether it be out in the, on the town or at, in the workplace, even at home to respectfully approach their daily life in a way that, that doesn't necessarily inconvenience them or put them at a disadvantage, but in a way that's also really respectful of what so many other people are going through, which is all across the board at this point. I think at some point we just have to believe that people will use their common sense, especially at this time of year with our loved ones and uh, going to be sharing meals and things like that with them. Uh, if people are requesting things of you, again, that's your turn to make a choice. Uh, as I said earlier, if you're uncomfortable with something or you just plain don't want to do it, you can bow out gracefully. Um, if it's something that's not that big of a deal, for example, this is an extreme example, but if somebody wants you to say, take a COVID test before coming to Thanksgiving, uh, that would be a time where you're deciding, you know, geez, do I really want to do this? Or you're on the side of, you know, absolutely. Uh, perhaps there's someone that is vulnerable that's going to be there. And then is it really that big of a deal for you to do that? Again, it's your call. Um, so I think approaching things like that, trying to make others feel comfortable, um, but again, you're absolutely have the right to, if you feel uncomfortable, you don't have to do something that you don't want to do. But um, I think approaching life with that in mind, just trying to help to keep the peace and make everyone feel comfortable. I think people would get along pretty well if everybody went out with that mindset. 
TheEtiqueteGuru.com is the website, TheEtiqueteGuru.com for more information and to get in contact with Stacey and her team at The Etiquette Guru. Business line 1-866-273-0728, one 273 You can also send her. Uh, her questions and business inquiries at the etiquette guru at yahoo.com, the etiquette guru at yahoo.com, and find her on Facebook, the etiquette guru MI, Instagram, etiquette guru, and Twitter underscore etiquette guru. Stacy, I want to go and give you a, a, a few minutes here to talk about some of your services too, because you know, we can talk about different suggestions for what to do at home during the holidays, what to do out in the community during the holidays, certainly in our day-to-day -day life, but it's different than getting that one-on-one -on -one lesson or that group lesson that can really help put these different ideas into practice and make them habit. The thing that I want to drive home, the rules and actions of manners and etiquette, they're simple and finite. It's it's your choice, um, but you need to have the skills first in order to choose. So I think profoundly what I see out in public are um, dining skills, table manners. They are lacking. And so I invite people of all ages. I have classes for children through adults. Let's refresh our skills together. Um, Maybe not before Thanksgiving, but perhaps before Christmas and throughout next year. It's just, it's a very um, obvious skill or lack thereof. And if you want to appear poised for whatever reason, uh, you need those skills specifically. Um, nobody enjoys dining with somebody that's uh, lacking there. It's, it's not a pleasant experience. So it is very important. And there's also plenty of, of, of adult options too, adult etiquette, etiquette family style, wedding parties too. All of this can be found on Stacy's website, theetiqueteguru.com. Stacy, before we let you go, another couple of minutes, I want to thank you again for joining us today and, and uh, for your patience You're uh, during this segment today, Stacy. Anything else that you would like to say or any other topics we haven't covered uh, on the etiquette side of things that would be important for our audience to be keeping in consideration at this time? Just in relation to children, uh, I'm going to the MEMSPA conference. That's for um, elementary and middle school principals. So any educators out there, I, if you're going to that, please stop by my booth. They have a lot of great giveaways. Um, I'm trying to partner with schools to create a more positive environment uh, at school and therefore in society. So trying to get in there and work with educators on that. I know they do the awesome job of um, all the regular school things. And this is just an education of a different kind, but so complimentary to one another. So I'm looking so forward to that and meeting everybody there. That's the next great thing I have coming up. So I'm really looking forward to that. And you can maybe see over my shoulder, um, you can, whoops, I'm going the wrong way. You can see Super Murray peeking yes. there <laughs> behind me. So offering that too, my Murray mags, just a plethora of information for children and an app, such just a great opportunity to learn many different things that they might not otherwise come across in their life. So um, that's what I'm looking forward to and just helping out wherever people want assistance um, and reminding or learning, teaching more etiquette and manners and just bringing more peace and joy to the world if everybody considers everyone else as they go through their daily life. All of that information on her website, theetiqueteguru.com. You can also call 1-866-273-0728, one 273 or email theetiqueteguru at yahoo.com. Stacey, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.